What's up everybody, this is IFBB Pro Cody Montgomery. I am a professional bodybuilder. don't know I turned pro when I was 20 years old it's now been two years I'm 22 and yeah so I grew up gaming playing um, Call of Duty I played some Sonic on the GameCube <laughs> Mostly, uh, I was an Xbox guy, mostly Call of Duty, like I mentioned. I was a diehard Call of Duty, actually, throughout high school. But I haven't played video games in a few years, and I have definitely not played some of the video games that we're about to play. This is gonna be interesting. Hey, what's up? My name is Chris. I'm the director of IT here at Blackstone Labs. I've been part, I've been at this job for about two and a half years. My history with gaming, I've been playing video games since I was like four years old. It's been a hobby of mine forever. I mostly play PC games. I played World of Warcraft for a long time. I'm Mr. T and I'm a night elf more. Uh, All right, comes up. Ready, guys. Let's or... do this. Leroy! I played Starcraft professionally for about two years. Mostly now, it's just kind of a, you know, something I do on the side, play a lot of board games too. I haven't really been to the gym much, you know, lately. It's not really my thing. I know Cody's gonna kick my ass with that, but I'm hoping I can do the same with some video games. We're gonna play something a little more intense. I'm gonna play some Dark Souls. So that should be fun. He said this is his first workout in a year that he's gone through. So we're about to show him a few things. I'm gonna show you guys a couple tips, help Chris on some form and on some common mistakes um, that you see in the gym and just try to have an overall good workout, put him through something that he hasn't done in over a year. So we're going to try to, uh, you know, the goal will be um, to push himself and for you guys to get something out of this video um, that you guys can take to the gym. Alright, so the first exercise we're going to be doing, or Chris is going to be doing, we're going to a lat pull down, wide grip. This is a good way to warm up the back. It's an overall very basic uh, way I start a lot of my back workout. So go ahead and have Chris start with this. Um, the goal here would be like 12 reps, three to four sets and kind of warming up as you go. So let's see how you do a few reps. You want to get in here and get a, since we're going to do wide grip, you want to get a little bit wider than um, shoulder width. You can get, uh, a general rule of thumb is some some people like it, uh, maybe their pinky on the little uh, line or you know uh, your index finger. You can just kind of feel what, what works with you and how wide you are for your body. And then come down here and you just want to try to drive your elbows down and contract your back. And really not try to pull with your hands, more so pull with your elbows and just use your hands as hooks. Good. Good. You can lean up a little bit. So a common mistake that some people uh, make, or actually everyone, even including myself, is you're gonna uh, wanna lean back a little bit and your body's gonna have a tendency to wanna do this just to make the exercise easier. Um, for angle purposes, for stretch purposes, um, to get the most out of the movement, uh, in theory, you want to be trying to sit up pretty straight. Um, have your have the, the pads be pretty close to your knee. Um, not have the pads all the way up here. I see a lot of people they'll you know hug all the way in and then lean way back or swing. Um, try not to swing a lot. But overall, uh, Chris was doing it pretty good. Being that Chris hasn't been in the gym in a year, I'm not going to make this super super detailed um, as far as the instruction. It's going to be more um, broad for a beginner. The first rule of note is between sets, we're gonna do like 60 second breaks. So that, you know, that's probably something that you maybe didn't know or you no. were just going set to I, set or whatever. So last time I did it, I had to be with somebody else. They do their Yeah, set. so I, I mean, that's, a, that's but training yeah. by yourself, you wanna start kind of um, knowing your rest time and things like that. So 60 seconds would be a good rule of note for this workout. So when I think of doing this exercise, I think of being wide and I think of being, um, in a stretch position and really working the muscle from a stretch position. Um, so at the top of the movement, definitely feel like you're opening 
you know, mind to muscle connection. I know this is probably all um, like sounds weird, but uh, <laughs> try to get your mind in the muscle and feel feel your back um, and, and feel like you're in this position, all what you're working is in the stretch, the like fully stretched position and the first movement that's coming down is uh, your elbow, but more so pulling with your back. Gotcha. Um, rather than your arms or swinging anything else. Now that we've done the, the lat pull downs on a lat bar, um, we'll move into a machine row okay. um, with your, with your uh, chest on a supported uh, pad. This is another movement that's uh, good and, and the kind of some of the movements that we're going to do today are just going to be easy um, that you can go in whether you've trained in a year like, like you haven't trained in a year or if you trained you know two weeks ago um, you know these are just basic movements um, that you know anybody from a beginner to an advanced uh, person should be, you know, incorporating in their workouts. Obviously, um, you know, more the advanced side, you can do things like partial reps and adding chains and doing different kinds of intensifiers. But being that Chris hasn't trained in a year, we're going to start him out at this level and then you know help him work his way in to getting more intense and uh, getting more out of his workouts as he goes. But honestly, tomorrow he's going to be sore regardless um, doing anything. Um, yeah. since this is more than you've done in a year. So yep. we'll keep going on the workout and uh, keep the pump going. Hopefully right. you're starting to get a pump. <laughs> Next, we're gonna be doing a chest supported row machine. Um, this one is plate loaded. So Chris, um, basically what you wanna do is you wanna tr try to find a, a good grip, um, neutral grip, uh, a little bit wider than shoulder width, just because this doesn't even have an option to be uh, too close. Um, so this is comparable to like a bent over row. With this, you're gonna try to drive your elbows back again. Use your hands more as hooks, like a, just like the last exercise. And really try to engage your lats, but try to squeeze your shoulder blades all the way together. Um, that will activate most all of your back in the exercise. So it will look kind of like, and you wanna get a good foot place where you go lower, you can go higher, just depending on um, your height and what feels good. But just as a general rule of thumb, just try to drive your elbows back and squeeze like your traps and your uh, shoulder blades, all of that together. And then that's how it's going to work. This out. This is another one of the that, you know, being that he hasn't been in a gym in a year, I'm not going to have him jump right into barbell deadlifts or dumbbell deadlifts and risk. Uh, getting hurt, I just more so want him to start feeling and engaging his muscles throughout this workout and starting to understand what he's doing. Um, when he's, you know, oh, I'm pulling, this is back, I'm pushing, this is, you know, chest. You wanna start feeling and getting a mind and muscle connection early on. Um, Chris has trained back in the day, but it's been a, it's been a year. So, you know, for him to get that muscle to mind connection is gonna take a minute and also just get that endurance and strength back. Yeah, I definitely feel that. <laughs> it's good? Yeah. So keep that weight, do a couple yeah. sets. Yeah, yeah, should be fine. If you're doing an exercise and you're starting to feel it somewhere else and you really aren't feeling in the place, it's probably because it's too much weight. Right. Um, or you're just, you know, your muscles fatigued and that, or, or you just need to build yourself back up. Um, but like on something like this, like next week you're gonna come in here and you'll be able to do another set. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And it, it, it just you gotta build. You gotta start somewhere and just start building. Yeah. And and uh, getting getting the mind to muscle connection. That's what it's all about, really. The more mind to muscle connection, you can make whatever weight you just did ten times harder. All right. So next up, we're gonna do a very basic back exercise, or you'll see some people do this on chest as well. Um, it's a dumbbell pullover um, lying on a bench, and you can do this 110 different ways probably. Okay. But I'm just going to show you the way that I do it. Okay. So I get a bench, a flat bench, and I lie down. I grab the dumbbell like so, like kind of like uh, in my hand, just cupping it and okay. using my thumbs to, to stabilize it. And then my goal is, again, my arms are pretty much not 100% locked out, but they're just there. Okay. And I'm just cupping the weight. 
and most of what I'm feeling right now, stretching, is in my lats. And I'm trying to think wider, 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 wider with my lats, flaring them out kind of. Not even flaring them out, just more so stretch. You feel the stretch and you want to go back to about where you're, you know, flat, maybe a little bit more, just depending on your range of motion. Okay. Um, and just feel like, okay, now my muscle's in a good stretch position and then explode out of it. So a rep's gonna look like that. And obviously, the most th careful thing to be. Don't drop the weight. Don't drop the weight on your face. Um, but this is a good, uh, really basic exercise for everybody, especially somebody starting in the gym. Um, they say this uh, stretches your ribcage, um, which is gonna make your peer bigger. Um, everybody wants a bigger chest, broader chest, um, but also it can give you that width, and it's a good stretch overall movement for the lats. Do you feel it? Yeah. So you just wanna feel like this is all stretching out, and then when you pull up, you're, you're pulling and getting a harder and harder contraction with your lats. And this is one of those exercises, it's a little bit easier to feel this, I feel like, than a lot of back movements. So especially for a beginner, I would always ha suggest having this in somebody's uh, plan. I mean, overall, this is probably, you feel this the most in your back. Yeah, I do. Because it's, it's dead weight. There's no way to really yeah. fake it other than, you could put a little bit of the weight in your triceps, but you can't, your, your tricep can't take it. I think maybe one I did, I could feel it back here, but yeah. the rest of it was all back. You'll see people, like, they can do it. Dumbbells you can do it with, I do it with even with bands. Mm -hmm. um, there's another way you can do drop sets, yet you can do partial reps, you can do all kinds of things, but this is like one of the most basic of, of back exercises, and if you train three or four um, exercises in a back workout, it should always be, you know, a pullover movement of some sort should always be in it. The goal here is not dropping this on the head. just for you to note, if you want to continue to build and want to mm -hmm. continue to, to push yourself, um, this week we did three sets, next mm -hmm. week we do four. Okay. Um, you know, and, and kind of intensify like that, mm -hmm. especially because your body just hasn't um, you know, had a lot nice of volume though. at all. <laughs> so three sets is going to do you good. Yeah. Okay. All right. So last, just because uh, the gym you know, doesn't have everything that we might necessarily do, we're gonna have them do a seated row um, on the ground. So, um, if you want me to demonstrate, do you want me to yeah, demonstrate? Please, yeah. So I'll show you guys. Uh, I want to see the technique. If I can get down here, <laughs> um, I'm gonna do a seated row. So you want to get your legs uh, on. Well, I guess on here you're gonna be pretty much almost straight. And as a general rule of uh, note, your your uh, hands again are gonna be kind of uh, hooks. Think about driving your elbows back, but rather than all the way back, you're gonna also have to kind of bring it up since it is um, at the angle it is. So think about bringing it, um, I, I would say like the top of this to your nipple range um, around your, your mid pec. And again, just like the second exercise we did on that row, you wanna think about squeezing your shoulder blades together driving your elbows back and engaging your lats and the rest of your back in the workout. Okay, so that's arms. That's my hands. It's hard. Think back, think back. Lean up a little bit. Squeeze my finger. Squeeze it. Oh, <laughs> see that? Yeah. You see you squeezed it though? Yeah, I see what you mean. Those shoulder blades together. You feel it more like that? Yeah, I do. So once I put my um, my hand on his back, and if you if you train with a training partner, have them do the same thing. Um, in your middle of your back, you can say put a pinky, say squeeze, squeeze it, and then you really start to put the mind and the muscle, and realize that you do have enough back that back there, and you can actually squeeze um, my pinky if you try, and engages a lot more. So, I mean, that probably makes exercise 10 times harder, I would say. And that's not scientific fact, but it's just <laughs> proven. Definitely.
felt the climbs for sure. <laughs> All right, so that is going to be a wrap from the gym. Um, Chris, how was it? Uh, felt pretty good. Yeah, definitely. You rough. toasted a little bit, yeah. <laughs> um, nothing too crazy, but for Chris, uh, that might might be a that was probably the best workout you've had in a year. So, it is for sure. So that's that's good. So now that he that I've gotten the chance to put him through a workout, he's going to be putting me through some stuff later on. But um, I want to first talk about a few of the things that I noticed um, in his workout that I noticed maybe with uh, other people that I see in the gym. Um, that are beginners or people are getting started. One thing I really think that a lot of people um, have an issue with, and I saw it with you as well, um, is engaging a lot of other muscles than what they're, they're working. Um, if you go into the gym and you say, I'm gonna work back, try to think about only working your back and feeling your back. If you feel your arms in something, there's a reason you're feeling it. Yeah. Um, so put two and two together, think about what you're doing. Um, and then you can get better from it. The mind and muscle with like the pinky, mm -hmm. you know, if you have a partner, um, having having them uh, you know touch your back or touch the muscle that you're training, a lot of the time actually does work, especially early on. So that's a, that's one of the things. Another thing is wasted motion, um, just like on the pullovers. Mm. When you were right here, you kept going. Going forward. Um, yeah. Same thing on the pull downs. Um, you know you, when you when you're right here, you're fully engaged, and then you kept going. Um, just just keeping it a little bit shorter. You're mm. going to be more in range. It's going to be more about the hardness of the rep, like in, you know, those points that are like, mm -hmm. damn, this is really working. Um, and keeping constant tension um, on the muscle will just, you know, in the long term, be much more beneficial for your end result and your uh, results period. Those are a couple of things that I noticed. Overall, Chris was really, really good today in the gym. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy, uh, you know, the instructional type uh, video that we did here. Now, it's uh, time to take the little swing of things and yeah. what are we about to do? We're about to go back and play some Dark Souls. It's a little bit more of an intense game than like a normal shooter or Call of Duty, something like that. It's a little more crazy, so you'll see. I told them that I've only had experience with Call of Duty, so yeah. this is going to be a totally new experience for me. So that's only fair that this was his, the first time you've been in a gym in a year yeah, and well, you let me put you through a workout. So I guess let's go play this game and see uh, if I can kick his ass again. <laughs> My name is Cody Montgomery. I'm an IFBB pro bodybuilder, and this is my uh, shot at playing Dark Souls. You do it. All right. So, so this you, is my character. This is yeah. You can make this name it whatever the hell whatever you want. Name it Cody. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. And I'll go down. Oh, you might have to hit. Okay. Yep. Put it this way. Not with your thing. Hit it. Yep. Oh, there you go. Okay. There go down. You can keep him male, I guess. Male. Change the age. Young. Yep. Because since I'm a youngin. You can pick your class. Now this is the important one. You pick your class. It okay. like changes your stats and oh, stuff. Oh shit, okay. So, so what's, what's the right one to pick? Um, they're all kind of unique in their own way. Um, I would pick, probably since this is your first time playing a game like this in a long time, you should probably pick like the knight. Okay. Only because he's pretty straightforward. It's just like a hack and slash. The other ones all kind of have like a unique thing that changes what they do. Um, and then there's like the hardcore mode at the bottom, which is deprived, which is you have nothing. You're just you're oh, naked. You're bare bones, yeah, you're yeah. bare bones. That's like hardcore mode. Um, so I'd pick knight. Okay. Um, that should be the the best one. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna be a knight. For burial gift, uh, pick one. Uh, we'll, we'll give you a uh... hidden blessing. Yeah. These all like these are all like a, a starting thing that you get in the game. That gives you some sort of bonus or some oh, okay, sort of like right. extra thing. It tells you at the top what they each do. Um, if I were you, I'd probably pick the life ring. Um, it's going to help you in the beginning. It's going to give you more life, especially since you're yeah, that's you're new. Actually, yeah, okay. yeah I'll so I'd pick, pick that. that. Okay. Um, just keep the face. That's fine. You Build. Can, yeah. That just changes how he looks. Very barely. Can, <laughs> yeah. If you want, if you want him to be <laughs> the Cody Montgomery copy. That's how barely they were back in the day. Like. Yeah. It's like everybody here in Florida. <laughs> that's how you look. All right, that's bad. All right, so go to finalize. Yeah, Very he did. Get, he got a bigger chest. Yeah. Thing. All right, finalize creation. Yep. Yep. All right. All right. You know what's funny? I've never played this game, but I recognize it from like somewhere. I've seen someone playing it's it. It's been advertised, that's for sure. Demon Souls came out. The very first one was called Demon Souls. Uh, then there was the, a new game. It, it was the spiritual successor called Dark Souls. Then there was Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3. And then there's another game thrown in there called Bloodborne. Um, that was by the same people. Yeah, same people. The name of the developer is From Software. 
Uh, all their games are great for the most part. Um, and they have this on Xbox. This and is PS4. on Xbox and PS4. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay, all right. So this is it. So this you're in the yeah. game now. This just got right. like. Now you move with the left stick. You select stuff. Yep. That all the R buttons are your attack buttons. So R1 is to attack. That's 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 R2. That's heavy attack. Oh, okay. So R1 is light attack. R2 is heavy attack. Uh, L1 is to hold up your shield. Yeah, the top L button. Which this one? L yeah. L L this is L1. This is L2. Okay. So, yeah, there you go. That's so that's, that's the, the block. Shield. And then L2 is parry. It's like. Yeah, you parry. So if somebody attacks you and you time it right, you get like a special counter attack. Okay. Okay. Now, all right. See those little go. Oh, all right. So you got a guy around you. So spam R1. There you go. You got it. We got see, our first kill. You see those uh, red things on the floor? Yeah. They kind of teach you how to play. This is oh, like the okay. tutorial area. So if you hit it, it tells you what to do. So, so the right bumper, or the, oh, I'm sorry, the right stick, if you push in the right stick, the right analog yeah. stick, it'll target something. So the next enemy you see, you should try and target him. So there's there's a guy to your left. So if you target, go up to him. That guy right there? Yeah. And hit the right stick. There you go, targets him. Now you locked on. Alright, so he got you. R1, R1. There you go. Now he dropped an item. Go ahead and hit A. So you got a soul. Now, what those souls do is later on, you can level up your character by spending the souls on your stats. Okay. So like you have like strength, dexterity, like all these other things that make your character better. And the souls will help you. And that's that's how you backstep up in your roll. The B button is the one, yeah, right there. So if you just tap it, you roll. That's kind of the most important thing about this game. When you roll, you become invincible for about a second. Oh, wow. So when someone goes to attack you, if you roll out of the way, it won't kill you. Yeah, good timing. Yeah. This game is kind of about uh, timing your attacks and making sure that you dodge at the right time and attack at the right so time. So dodge is again mm -hmm. this one. Dodge is, is, is uh, B. Yeah, that's the side step. But if you're moving in a direction, you'll roll. So what you're doing, since your health is low, you, you're going to hit, want to hit X, which is the blue button. That restores your health. That's resurgence. Okay. That's got. It looks like resurgence. Yeah, resurgence yeah. So, one thing I notice that you're doing when you're attacking is you're is you're hitting the trigger on the bottom to attack. Mm -hmm. You want to hit the top button. That's a light attack. The heavy attacks are way long. See how much longer yeah. that is? So you can, oh shit! You got it. See how much quicker that was? Like you got I ahead just, of him. Yeah, I just attacked yeah. him before he even okay, saw so, me coming. <laughs> R2, you pretty much never want to do. Already. And then pretty soon, you're actually going to have to fight a boss. Which oh. is kind of what this game is all about. So that's where I'm probably going to die. Probably. Okay. Now, don't don't fall off the cliff. That I'm would be just bad. Seeing if there's somebody around this corner. Yeah. All right, there's a bonfire. Now, what the bonfires do is they restore all of your health, and they give you all of your Estus flasks back. And what's really cool about this game is that you can travel in between the bonfires. So they're kind of like checkpoints throughout the game. All right. So that's like his magical time. Gets... Kind of, yeah. So you can go ahead and yeah, just go ahead and leave. There's nothing else you need to do here. But you got, notice how you had two Estus flasks and now you have now three? I have three yeah. You got them back. Because I drank that one. Mm -hmm. So you got a guy in front of you. So remember, light attacks. Oh, that was a heavy attack. Oh, dude. There you go. Drop something. <laughs> I was like thinking about it, and I was like, I was still thinking about it. And I pressed the freaking. It's very similar to like what you're saying. It's muscle memory. It's it's knowing where your hands go. Yeah, so All right, so this guy's a boss. Oh, so this is the hard guy. This, this is gonna be. Oh, dude, I got tough. him. Is there anybody else around? Nope, just him. So this is gonna be the fun part. This is this is separating the men from the boys here. You gotta pull the sword out of them. Oh goodness. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Don't get so far. Watch out. All right. Don't forget you can roll. All right. You might want to heal. Oh, he went. 
Yeah, what did I say yeah. though? I said, I'm gonna get that. <laughs> that was close. Ah. That was good. <laughs> Alright, so here's what you want to do. Dude, there's no way I'm gonna... How does it go from like the easiest people? Like, you go up and you stab them one time and then it goes to like the monster it's a, you have it's to a stab boss. like... Alright. Alright, get that item. Get into it. Drop the thing. I'm getting into it because I need to freaking kill this okay. guy. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, of course, of course, of course. What the... You're good, you're good, you're good. Oh! oh. oh. Go, go, go! You don't have any things left. You gotta find them. You lost them. Oh, no. I oh, I got you. <laughs> so close. <laughs> it's like that far away. It was really close. You're really close. <coughs> All right, yeah. full health. Perfect run so far. <sighs> All right, the swimming and pressure's on. Just be, make, just I'm dragging him in there so I have no bodies in there. Just look at the boss. When he's going for a big attack, just dodge out of the way and then start attacking him. Also, watch your stamina. Uh, like, how do you how do you run away from him? That thing's huge. It, the trick to this fight is that you have to do as much damage as you can before he transforms. Oh my gosh. Ah! Oh, man, I guess. There's no way I can do it. Alright, Chris, hop in there. Round you want me, you want me to yeah. hop in there? Just, just what, man, just defeat him for me, man. What if your contract was based on you beating him? I would beat it, but <laughs> it would take me two more hours. He would have like a full beard by the end. So now <laughs> Alright. So we'll just we'll we'll walk through this. Oh you got me. Okay. <laughs> hey, I don't feel that bad now. I don't feel that bad. He's tough. Dark Souls is not easy. Man, I'm telling you. I was like, man, is this the first level? Like, holy shit. How yeah, Dark Souls. <laughs> and it gets even harder. That's the scary oh, part. Oh, yeah. There we go. Stop. Okay. So you have to get the dark. <laughs> All right, so. Right, he's defeated. Nah, I was the one holding the controller, really. <laughs> We just finished up playing Dark Souls um, and took Chris through a workout. Hopefully you guys uh, um, liked the little bit of different content. Um, this is the first time I've played a video game in a year plus, and this is the first time that Chris has had a workout in a year plus. It definitely so, shows on both ends, I think. Um, <laughs> a pretty level playing field, I would say. So. Chris, if you want, um, don't be uh, too mean, but <laughs> if you want to give me some critiques on my gaming skills, um, uh, it, like I give some critiques in the It was gym. actually pretty, you know, for a Dark Souls game, it was pretty impressive. I mean, the first time you went in on the boss, you actually almost killed him, which was, I had you know, high hopes, I had it was big close. ambitions. Um, <laughs> I, think, I think the biggest thing is just it's muscle memory with your hands, because like, like in the very beginning, you were, you were hitting the wrong button on the R2 to do the wrong attack. So it's just kind of, once you do it enough, you just kind of, it clicks, right? Mm. Um, the biggest part about the game that I noticed is it, it's just kind of studying your enemy and knowing when to dodge. Because I, I, when you were fighting the boss sometimes, it was like, you, you just sort of was like, whoa, there's a lot going on, you know, and just swinging oh. your sword as much as hey, you could. You're telling you know? me I felt the same way. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I mean, it, it was it was definitely a good first shot. It was, um, I know the game's frustrating. Trust me, that's that's kind of, that's sort of what its draw is, you know. But uh, you did a good job, that's Thank for sure. You. I appreciate it. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yes, it was uh, my first uh, go. I was very ambitious, and I almost killed the, uh, what is it? The first boss. I don't even remember his name, to be honest with you. The first boss, <laughs> I almost killed him, as you guys will see, or as you guys saw. But, um, but yeah, overall, a very um, fun experience. Like, uh, like he said, I... <laughs> I didn't do that bad, I feel like, but it was uh, pretty uh, newbie skills, so don't be making fun of me. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoy the, uh, the video.